you could come home with me and live in Hackney. Would you like that? I've met a lot of frogs in my time. Fat frogs, friendly frogs, flying frogs, hungry frogs, even giant waxy monkey frogs. But there's one frog that stands out above all others because it just so happens to be the most toxic animal on the planet. Philobartis terribilis, otherwise known as the golden poison dart frog. This tiny amphibian secretes enough poison from its skin to kill over 10 people in three minutes flat. It's only found in a small and remote area of tropical rainforest in the Chaco region of Colombia. This unique freak is on the red list for endangered species. I'm desperate to find one and discover what's being done to save it. You're going to take it for me? Huh? Really? Thank you very much. Such a nice. It's about 90, 95, 30 degrees Celsius and probably about 100% humidity. So I'm going to be looking really terrific for the next four days, basically. Really, really sexy. Timbuktu is the only town in the region. There are no roads in and no roads out. It's steamy, hot and one of the wettest places on earth. When it rains, boy, does it rain. The military are everywhere because just a few miles upstream, there are drug runners, illegal gold miners and the last stronghold of the militant guerrilla group, FARC. It was easy enough getting into Timbuktu, but if you want to head any further upstream, on your own head, be it. Well, I've made myself responsible for my own risk now. The risks of leaving this town. As soon as we head up river, we're entering Colombia's wild west. But that's where the frog is, so that's where we've got to go. It's a lovely day out. There's nothing to worry about. These are the Marines on the right, these are Marines here. Oh, OK. As soon as we've left the vicinity of Timbuktu, we're pulled aside and offered some useful advice. So upstream, we might find people who've got machine guns and are asking for passports and, and to check us who aren't the army, who are independent military types. It's not just the frogs that are in danger here. Local communities live in a constant state of flux as the military and the FARC fight for control of this illicit El Dorado, the source of much of Colombia's cocaine and now a hub for industrial scale illegal gold mining. Hello, San Miguel. Hola. Hola. Hola, senor. ¿Y por qué, por qué poquito pescado? Que normalmente eh, cuando está limpia, ¿qué color es? Transparente. Transparente, clarito. No way. Yeah, it's clear, yeah. And Transparent. that's because of the gold mining up river that makes it this color. ¿Y por qué, por qué está sucio el río? Uh, the machinery up river, gold mining. So all of this, all of this area around here is all prime jungle for the golden poison dart frog. And these people who live in San Miguel, they own about 60,000 hectares of community land. So today's mission is for Alonso and Paul to persuade them to give up a significant chunk of that land over to conservation. Which is luck. <laughs> El, el proyecto de conservación de especie actualmente de rana que es lo que se está haciendo I've come here thousands of miles because Colombia has the most spectacular frogs on the planet and probably the most spectacular of all is this little yellow frog called Philobatis terribilis that I, I I very very much want to see Convincing the people of San Miguel to protect a creature that can kill them almost instantly is a hard sell, but the response is encouraging. This seems like the perfect time to bring out my alter ego, the amphibian Avenger, a character that back home is usually very popular with the kids. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. 
In an area where frogs are deadly, dressing up as a giant one is perhaps not my brightest idea. I've actually frightened them. I think it's actually anti-conservation. Maybe stand in front of here, I guess. Yeah, feeling really, really embarrassed, actually. Really. It's coming to places like this that makes you think that maybe conservation is a Western luxury. Because here's me, passionate about saving a frog. But these people have got to have something to eat tonight. And uh, it's all very easy for me to come in and go, oh, I love this frog, I want to save this frog that's in your backyard, which means you can't do this, that and the other. But, you know, it's, it's just not that simple. It's not that simple. People have got to feed themselves. And that is the reality of the situation. Happily, the people who are on the front line trying to preserve this environment are a group of local conservationists who understand these challenges all too well. There's a frog. He's got a frog. They're also very, very good at catching frogs. What do I know? It's a common forest frog. Oh, I've lost it! <laughs> You know what that is? That's a sleeping tree frog. They normally live really high up in the trees. Look how beautiful he is. Look, his eyes are like pearls. Isn't he gorgeous? <gasps> look at his eyes. Oh, look at you. You're literally like the frog. You're like the frog conjurer, aren't you? Wow, so this is he's like a little tomato, isn't he? So this is a little toad. Oh, just hopping around on the forest floor. Yeah. He's getting quite annoyed with me. He's got a fantastic pissed off look on his face. So how endangered is this frog? Yeah, I would say extremely endangered. And the reason is simple. Firstly, it's only found in a very small area, effectively the size of London or Washington DC, which is about wow. 40 miles by 40 miles. Wow. Um, so it's in a tiny area. Secondly, none of the, that area is actually protected until Proavis has acquired some land and set up a reserve specifically to, um, to, to save and protect the species. Terribles? As soon as the frog senses danger, it sweats out the deadly neurotoxin to defend Try itself. Oh, a score. Goal. By the time Alonso hands the frog to me, I need gloves to prevent even the tiniest amount of the toxin seeping into my bloodstream through my skin, or I'd be dead in minutes. Bloody hell, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay, hello, mister. Oh my, I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, it's all yours. I can hear him chirping, actually. Oh my god, he's definitely going to be making the poison now, isn't he? I can't believe I'm holding in my hand the world's most toxic creature. I'm literally shaking. Hello, mister. Don't be mad. God, he's so beautiful. I can't believe I'm going to cry. Oh, don't touch my face with that! Oh my god! It's so embarrassing! <laughs> Maybe it's the toxins doing something to me. Although it may be deadly, protecting the golden frog will benefit the local people far more than gold mining in the long term. Despite the mad woman in a frog costume, since my visit, the people of San Miguel are now working to save their local environment.
I literally feel like I'm holding a loaded gun. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> I have never, I've held a million frogs and I have never shaken so much as I am right now. I am just shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're, uh, oh, he said that if you kiss him, he'll become a prince. I, do you know what? I am so not kissing this frog. Yeah. There is no fucking way I'm kissing that. But I am going to give Alonzo a big kiss. Thank you. I'm not kissing him though. In Ghana, Thousands of Chinese miners are involved in an illegal gold rush that's stripping the country of a precious resource. It's destroying farmland and wrecking livelihoods.